Mm. Do you ever wonder if, like, do you ever stop and think, what if I had a heart attack right now and died? Like, <laughs> I don't often think that way because I think it's a waste of life. Uh, you end up, well, it's not a waste of life, I shouldn't say. You can look at it two ways. You can be just terrified until that moment and, and do everything in your power to stop it from happening. Or you embrace life to the fullest. But it is scary. It's scary to think that, like, even, um, even I, you know, it's not completely uncommon for, like, people who don't take care of themselves to have heart attacks in their 40s and stuff like that. It happens all the time. Um, I don't know, it just kind of hit me tonight. I was thinking about it earlier, even before the last video, which was kind of upbeat, but... I, I ultimately have made some decisions. I, I I know a while ago I talked about having the eye of the tiger, but um, I'd like to lose about thirty pounds before Christmas. Um, it's you know September now or October now, Jesus. Uh, but I think I could lose easily ten pounds in two or three weeks, and then take off the rest progressively over those weeks. But I just got to stop drinking at night, and I've got to stop eating shit after like eight o'clock. And I need to start spreading out my meals better. And I need to start eating breakfast, which I never do. Some days I don't eat until like 1, 2 o'clock. Some days I don't eat until like 8 at night. Some days it just goes by. I don't think about it. And um, the day's gone and I haven't eaten. <laughs> um, but then I just gorge everything I can just shove in my mouth. And uh, come on now, knock it off. <laughs> um... I found this capo at Target for two ninety eight, and I thought, you know what? I'll give it a whirl. It's horrible. It's fucking terrible. It's the worst capo in the world. Let me see if I can get the name for you. I should have known better, but for three bucks, I mean, it does the job. First Act, yeah. They're not a very good company. I just picked up Bongos by First Act, I think. I think that's who made them. They're out in the car. I have no intentions of playing a song right now. Uh, I just happened to... I, I was talking the other night about writing a song. <clears throat> having something to do with Rocky Point and growing up and amusement parks and, and uh, just the memories that they can create. Um, and it, it had been so long and I, I just I went to sit down to write those lyrics and I, I had some in mind and then forgot them, sat down, and it just came to nothing. So I ended up Trying to figure out a Count and Crow song, which I have pretty much figured out, which is pretty easy. It's only about four or five chords. <laughs> Three chords and the truth, brothers. It's all you need. Mm. Forgot the pumpkin again tonight. You know what that means? Gonna have to make another one. I think um, I've got a lot of snacks lying around. I want to finish them off. And after they're gone, I've never been able to talk and and finger pick at the same time. I was going to the kitchen, going to get a snack. <laughs> um, and I, I lost the lyrics. I just can't think of them anymore. But I at least saved a word. A lot of times, if I can't remember, I'll just save a word document with the idea that's in my head at that moment. Uh, like, for example, this I wrote, Rocky Point. Rising from the Ashes. <laughs> That's all I know. I know that the song, whatever it is, has something to do with those lyrics. My friend Jim might be stopping by tonight, so if he does, I may have to stop. I should probably stop anyway. I don't have much more I want to talk about. Yeah, no, that's it for you guys. I'm sorry I didn't uh, have anything too exciting to come back. I'd love to come back and play a song tonight. I might do that if I can come up with a good song that I can play comfortably in front of you guys and not feel like a jackass because I'm not very good. <laughs> All right. You guys have a great night. Um, like I said in the previous video, uh, you know, or I didn't say rather, uh, if you're loving them, please subscribe. Pass them along to everyone and anyone you know <laughs> who might have any interest in this. Uh, don't forget to make somebody smile tomorrow. Make yourself a better person tomorrow than you were today. Tomorrow.
Let's make the world spin a little bit happier together. I think it's raining, and you know what that means, folks. I think it's time to go dance in the rain. All right, you guys have a great night, and I'll see you a little bit further on down the road to 40.